Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a multi-boot USB using Ventoy. First thing you're going to do is go over to Ventoy.net and I'm going to give you this link in the description. So feel free to follow along. I'm on a Windows machine today, so I'm going to download the Windows.zip. You're going to scroll down. Then you're going to see the Windows.zip file. Click on that to download it. Next thing we need to do is extract that. So I'm using, excuse me guys, I'm using WinRAR. Feel free to use whatever you want for extraction. Okay, once you have it extracted, go ahead and open that folder, drill down inside of the Ventoy folder, and then you're gonna launch Ventoy to disk. UAC prompt, go ahead and accept that. Let me zoom in on that for you guys, one second. All right guys, once you have Ventoy open, next thing you need to do is select the correct flash drive. So just make sure you have a flash drive here that you are ready to wipe out or format. If you have any data on there, be sure to back it up ahead of time. Go ahead and click install. This will, it'll give you a couple prompts here. You're not seeing those because I have the Ventoy window selected. But it's just warning you, hey, make sure you, there's nothing on here that you need, back up your data, so on and so forth. This only takes a second, guys. Okay, that's done. This USB is now ready to start adding images to it. So it's pretty straightforward. If you guys have been following along in my bootable USB series, you've probably seen this. But I wanted to make a quick video just covering um, the tools used. So this will be the first of a probably a couple videos I'll add to the series on just different tools along the way that we use to create these bootable USBs. Okay guys, so you'll see here we have Ventoy USB. It gave it a name automatically. You can rename that to whatever you'd like. So if you're gonna use this for specific purposes, feel free to rename that. I can go ahead and do that here. Let's just call this, for demonstration purposes, Linux distros. About as much as we'll get there, that's fine. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna locate some ISO or IMG files that are bootable and we're gonna plop those right on the root of this USB drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, I'll just grab a few small ones here and copy them over since this is a demonstration. Let's just do these two here. We've got Arc Linux and we've got Pop OS. Yeah, let's grab one more Gparted Live. That's just a uh, utility that you can boot into. So we'll drag these right into our USB. And we'll let that copy and we'll be right back. All right, guys, that copy has finished. You see we have three ISOs on the USB. Next thing we're going to do is test this out. So it's just that simple, guys. I'm going to eject this. I'm going to pop it into a laptop. And then we're going to access the boot menu. We'll be right back. All right, guys, there you have it. You boot into your USB, you'll access your boot menu, however you do that on your particular device, and then go ahead and boot from the USB, and you'll see you have multi multiple images listed right here. So it's really that simple, guys. Just want to put together a very quick video for you guys. If you haven't been following along with my USB playlist or series, recommend you check it out. Do me a favor, guys, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it, reaching a thousand, so I appreciate all the support. And again, just a quick one today to show you how easy it is to create a multiple boot or multi-boot USB. Uh, no more wasting USBs. You can use one instead of having, you know, five or six or however many you carry around for whatever purposes. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Give it a thumbs up. Have a great day. Till the next one. Take care, guys.